Hello everyone, this is a quick tutorial how to convert Figma design to WordPress block using Advanced Add-ons plugin. Let's get started. This is a new page of WordPress Gutenberg Editor. When Advanced Add-ons plugin installed, there is a Figma import button on the top left. Let's click this button. To import Figma design, we need Figma access token. To get it, log into your Figma account, then go to the settings and scroll down to personal access token. Just create a new personal token and then copy it. Back to our WordPress editor, enter the Figma access token. Next, we need the link of Figma file we want to import. Currently this plugin only support Figma design using auto layout. For this demo, I'm using the free version of untitled UI design available on Figma community. Link will be available on description below. Next, we can select the block type. We can use WordPress default block type or Spectra, ultimate add-ons for Gutenberg if installed. For this demo, I will use the WordPress default block. Click the Start Import button to start the process. It will take some time to finish, depending on your design. Beside the Spectra, ultimate add-ons for Gutenberg plugin, we planning to also support the Cadence block plugin, hopefully, in the next release. The import process finish, now we can close this. This the results, the advanced add-ons plugins will convert the Figma design to column or row block, heading block, and image block. Support to other block, like button, navigation, and other block, will be added in the next releases. This plugin also import the image to WordPress media. Let's save the page and see how it looks on the front end. And we can see the page on mobile device. It's not perfect responsive, but overall pretty good. Of course we can edit it on the Gutenberg editor to make it fully responsive. It must be remembered that our Figma design is fully auto layout so can be converted like this. Make sure to convert your design to auto layout before importing using this plugin or can try the design file we are using in this demo. Okay, that's our quick tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.